So, man, it's a trip, though, man, because Nick Saban is blaming Deion Sanders for, like, players going to his college over his, saying he's breaking the rules. You know, like, this makes me upset. And I'm actually, I mean, I've actually been mad at Deion Sanders since he left the Niners. And on top of that, he has, like, <clears throat> like, he hasn't exactly, uh, you know, cheered for the Niners or said a lot of great things about the Niners while being on TV. On top of that, um, so, you know, I've been a little bothered. But Nick Saban don't, like, I don't think he should be saying, like, oh, uh, Deion Sanders, you know, is paying the players to go there i mean me personally regardless of deon sanders he's i mean i got him as a, a top five nfl player ever best corner ever you know what i'm saying like so it's like i mean that's probably why they're, they're going to play with him instead of nick saban i mean they want to they want to learn from deon sanders they just want that knowledge in the room the swagger in the room the camaraderie in the room you know uh, man, what well, he can like really like, tell them, continue to learn from them, man, because he's at Jackson State, you know, Nick Saban, it's Alabama, you know, like, and, and you know what, like, you know, Jackson State's considered small and all that, Alabama's huge. Um, it's kind of like the equivalent of. Like a, a, a musical artist chooses to stay independent, you know, Jackson State, instead of going to a major like Alabama. You know, it's like, okay, you know, I want, I want my creative control over here. You know, I want to, I, I can get playing time right away. I can learn from a, a, a goat at his position, you know, instead of going to a major label, Alabama, where I got to, you know, just like major labels, they tell artists what songs to or how, how to, you know, like what songs to pick and what type of music to make instead of having their creative control. That's what I'm looking at. You, know, you, might be, you might be a backup to somebody at a position. You might not get that playing time. Or, or, or if you're not great, you will. But I'm just saying you're more likely to start with Jackson. Alabama, they be having, I mean, they have depth. I mean, they're in the big game. It seems like every year. So, I mean... They are who they are, Alabama. Bad mofos. Bad mofos. But no question about that. But yeah, Jackson State's on the rise. You know, and that's because Deion Sanders, man, he's like head of an independent record label right now. That day that he's trying to make a little larger. You know, he's trying to make a little bigger. Have more artists go there, football players. Um, and you can have creative control. And I'm gonna teach you. You know. It's almost like having a producer there. He's giving you beats. You know, Deion Sanders giving them beats. You know, from a football standpoint. You know, I mean, that's why Deion Sanders picked Nick Saban. I mean, I, what am I saying? That's why these players are picking Deion Sanders over Nick Saban. That's why. But I'll pick. But I would also pick Deion Sanders over Nick Saban. You know, like I said, man. I used to wear a red bandana, a red like either a red 49er bandana and a red bandana when I was a little kid because. You know, he played for the Niners in 1994 season. I used to wear it, do, do his dance and everything. When he left for the Cowboys, I was heated. Teed off, ticked off. Oh my God, you used to rival, you went to the Ops. You know, speaking of music, that's what they say in music now, rappers. The Ops, the Ops, the Ops, this Ops, the ops, that, ops that, Ops that, Ops this, Ops that. Deion Sanders went to the Ops, went to the Cowboys. Like we just beat these guys in the NFC title game. Um, so I'm just saying, uh, so I've always been a little bothered, but at the same time, man, that's why they're picking Dion over Nick Saban, y'all. What do y'all think about that, though? What do y'all think about that? Nick Saban's accusing him of paying players to go there. His accusations, I don't know, but also the Astros and Yankees, man, they're going at it talking about. You cheated, you cheated, you know, because the Yankees got caught stealing signs or uh, they were giving the signs to second base. You know, they were uh, basically know what, what what the signs were. You know, they had legal cameras, legal this, in 2015, 2016. And the Astros had these accusations of uh, stealing signs and, you know, 
banging on drums when it was like a, a certain pitch and they, they're doing cheating stuff too. So their GMs are going at it, you know? I mean, like Brian Cashman, he does have a right to say the Astros cheated because they did. And I'm an Oakland A's fan in baseball. So I know what I know about them. So I can't stand them because they cost us some division titles. So I understand, I hear you. But the Yankees, you guys cheated too in 2015, 2016. And I don't like the Yankees either. I, I, speaking of ops, the Astros are the ops and the Yankees are the ops. So our two ops are going at it. And, and they both shouldn't be saying nothing really. They both cheated. So, you know, the Yankees haven't won the World Series since 2009. They have a World Series drought. They ain't hoisted up that trophy. And people have been getting on them for that. They haven't hoisted up since. But, I mean, I mean, and they're talking about, oh, yeah, you know, because the Astros, you know, 2017, 2019, both years, the Yankees lost to them in the, uh, you know, ALCS and all that. So, that's why they're like, man, well, you know, at the end of the day, we could have really been champions. But they cheated us. They took away our World Series. Both of y'all took away my A's World Series. So, anyway. Um, what do y'all think about that, though? All these teams are saying, you know, you cheated, this and that. Accusations. Just like, you know, John Morant trying to say, oh, Jordan Poole for my Warriors. or champion Warriors. Uh, oh, yeah, you, uh, you broke the code. You broke the code. when Because he barely touched his knee. John Morant already had knee issues. Come on now, stop that garbage. Stop that nonsense. Come on, right, y'all? I'm just saying. But yeah, y'all, hey, like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. All these accusations. What do you guys think of it, though? Think Deion Sanders is really paying these players? I do not think so, but that's just me. You know, so me a like and subscribe. Hit them comment section. What do you guys think? Man. Yankees and Astros, you got no business to talk. I don't like you guys calling each other out, though. You know, so. But, yeah, that's prime time, man. Woo, prime time. Remember when the Niners had prime time? It was like Kevin Durant joining the Warriors, man. It was like unstoppable. Having him and Jerry Rice on the same team. Steve Young, Rick Waters. Dana Stofield, Brian Young. Martin Hanks, Tim McDonald. We got the greatest secondary ever with Deion Sanders. Real talk, including Eric Davis, the other corner. But hey, I'm, I'm just reminiscing about the Niners. But yeah, what do you guys think about the Nick Saban, Nick Saban, Deion Sanders stuff? Hey, y'all know what to do. Let me know what is on your mind about that.